But this review actually starts off with a problem. Not too long ago, I did a review on the Qatom Q2108. This was a mini barebone PC that was to serve as a router within my home running PFSense. I quickly realized how overpowered the Qatom Q2108 was to be wasted as a router, and I decided to put it to better use. With that being said, I picked up this thing. This is the Asus RTAC-A7R. Now this was a Linux-based ASUS router that seemed to tick all the boxes on my checklist when it came to a router. However, after a couple of weeks, it started to give me some issues when it came to cutting out for both wireless and wired clients. And with all this happening, I quickly needed to find a replacement as my Qatom Q2108 was no longer available to be used as a router. This sent me scouring across Amazon to come across this gem. This is the ASRock U-Box 111. So similar to the Qatom Q2 on the weight, the ASRock U-Box is a mini barebone PC. What that means is that it doesn't come with all the components it needs to run out of the box. Inside the PC itself, it's sporting a quad core, two gigahertz, Intel Celeron N2930. It has support for one single DDR3L chip, L stands for low voltage, if you didn't know that. And here's some of the most important specs to me. It has dual gigabit ethernet and it's fanless. Opening up the U-Box is pretty simple. There's only four screws at the very bottom of the housing. This exposes the PCB and allows you to go ahead and throw in your components. I loaded up mine with the eight gigabyte DDR3L module, as well as a Samsung 128 gigabyte M.2 SSD. In regards to IO, on the back of the unit, you'll find two HDMI ports, one being micro, one being standard, and two USB ports, one being USB 3.0 and the other being micro USB 2.0. That was kind of strange. I actually thought it was USB-C. In the front, you'll find a power button, a single USB 3.0 port, a single 3.5 millimeter jack, and of course my favorite, dual gigabit ethernet. Setting up PFSense of course was extremely simple, and once I had my unit set up, I didn't have to look at it again. It's been rock solid, extremely silent, and extremely stable. I actually saw an uptick on my response time when it came to my internet connection speeds. Now I'm not sure if this was because my ASUS router was so broken or because the PFSense router is so good. Now if you're not familiar with PFSense, I will be sure to leave a link in the video description below. Essentially it's a BSD based operating system that will run on any computer and serve as a router. All the configurations and options are just as good as something as you'd find in a Cisco ASA or Juniper SRX device. A number of large companies actually use PFSense for all of their routing as well as computer enthusiasts. Personally, I connect to a number of IPsec VPN connections such as Express VPN as well as Amazon's cloud services for my web DevOps development. So for me, PFSense actually works out perfectly. So at the time of recording this video, you can pick up the ASRAC U-Box for about $239. Now I'm going to compare this to something like the Netgear Nighthawk. Now it doesn't come with memory or hard drive, and you are going to need a wireless access point to give you some wireless capabilities. So if you're going off of money alone, this setup will definitely cost you a lot more than a consumer router. However, nothing is going to beat the flexibility of having a PFSense router. Overall, the ASRAC U-Box is a great mini PC. It's fanless design makes for a completely silent operation. It definitely works best for Linux and Unix based operating systems, but if you're looking for a Windows solution, I would look elsewhere. But I do think compared to the options that PFSense presents, this definitely works best as a router. Anyway guys, that's gonna wrap up this video. If you have any more questions about the ASRock U-Box, do me a favor, leave them in the comment section below. And if you like this video and you wanna see more like it, do me a favor, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. Once again, my name is Fran, Thank you very much, and hopefully I see you guys in the next video.